Hi, I'm Dave Wilson, Product Marketing Manager for John Deere for Articulated Dump Trucks. Today I want to tell you about some of the fantastic features of our E-Series lineup. Today I want to show you some of the easy ground level daily service features we have on our E-Series lineup. First thing we do is open up the front grill. So the first thing you notice is our service light comes on automatically to give you visibility to everything you need to do for your daily service. First thing we've got our air box right here, we've got our master disconnect, our jumper terminals should those be necessary. This is our front axle filter manifold right here and on this truck all three axles have their own filter to make sure that the axles have maximum performance because we keep the debris out of the axle itself. We've got our washer fluid jug right here. I've got my engine oil fill and dipstick color coded yellow to match the yellow sample valve right here. Got my engine oil filter right here along with our fuel filters conveniently located all right here from the ground level. Our fuel fill is also located in the front right fender of the machine, again, so you don't have to mount the machine to make sure we have safe ground level daily service. The next item on our daily walk around includes checking the cooling package and the coolant recovery bottle. First thing we do, swing out our fan. This is our cooling package right here. It's very similar to the cooling package on the other side of the machine. While they have different purposes, they have very similar design for commonality. This machine is equipped with optional reversing fan as well, so you can blow out the coolers. Next thing we do, Release the latch and swing out the cooler. When you do so, of course, I can check behind the coolers, make sure there's no debris to make sure my cooling package is operating at optimal temperature. And it gives me visibility to the coolant recovery bottle up top. Another thing we like to make a big deal about on these E-Series trucks is we put some really good quality latches around the machine. When I release this door, you're gonna hear that that cooling package shuts very tight to make sure that this thing's not gonna be causing any problems while you're hauling dirt. The next item on our daily walk around is the articulation joint. First thing you notice, we've got a light right here. You can push the button and a light comes on to give easy and safe visibility to the next items on our check. First thing I do is open up my transmission access door. I've got my transmission oil dipstick, the transmission oil sample valve, my transmission oil filters, the hydraulic oil and transmission oil quick service fittings. Located just above, I've got my hydraulic oil sight gauge and my PM decal that tells me all the service items associated with this truck. My transmission oil fill is right here when that's necessary. Next, we talk about the grease fittings on this machine. This machine only has eight grease fittings. Five are in a bank right here, easily located again without climbing on the machine. The other three are located right here at the upper articulation joint, the center oscillation joint, and the lower articulation joint so I didn't have to get on the machine, all located conveniently right here in the center of the machine. The last item on our daily walk around includes two final checks. A check of our backup camera to make sure that the lens is free of debris. And lastly, check the blue seals on our bin tip joint right here. This is a maintenance free joint. However, it is important that these blue seals remain intact and free of any rock chips or debris. Only the last thing to check, of course, would be tire pressure. Fortunately for you, E-Series ADTs are equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system that gives you both tire pressure and temperature all visible in the monitor.